I guess you'd say I fell in love with music when I was about 12 or 13. I found myself really intrigued by that world and uh, eventually I just decided I needed to play something and a lot of people played guitar and I wanted to be different for whatever reason so I picked up the banjo, five string banjo. I started writing songs in earnest and realized that I really liked doing that. So I guess it's been kind of an evolution. I fell in love with music early on. My dad growing up, he played in harmonica and he taught me some of that. I play harmonica often. I started playing guitar when I was 14. Had an uncle, he would get off his job, and like I'd get home from school and he'd come over and just teach me chords and he taught me three chords and I started kind of writing songs from that. 2013, I started looking for other people to play with and I just put on a Craigslist ad and like the activity section looking, I'm a banjoist looking for people to play with and I didn't think anyone would actually respond but I actually got a whole lot of responses and one of them was Dakota. And that's how we came together as songwriters and took to loving each other's songs so much. And we formed a band of four other guys. We came up on the Lean of the Plenty just sort of brainstorming. I like the name because, you know, it sort of plays on our different physiques, but it also sort of echoes our folk country genre. Having two different songwriters from different kind of backgrounds and a band of players that are also from very different backgrounds, it's hard to put it in any kind of genre. But when we started putting a band together and we started thinking about more like what is our sound and yeah. we're still figuring it out to be honest. You don't set out to have a particular kind of handwriting, right? You just develop a handwriting style and the band is sort of the same thing. We didn't set out to capture a certain sound, it's just sort of evolving, you know, as we play together more. It really does a lot to do with the songs and however they get filtered through the band and however they come out sounding. There's a lot of stuff in the mix, so each show is going to be a little bit of a different sound, which we like because it keeps it interesting. Being in a band is actually kind of hard, probably as with any art. Sometimes you don't get out of it any immediate rewards, so it is important to know why you're doing it. There's nothing more fulfilling in my life than making music and creating art, and I need that to be a part of my life, for my life to have as much meaning as I can give it. At the end of the day, when I think about what I can do and what I want to do, it's always this, and I just want to do it in as many different ways as I can moving forward with my life. Different projects, different sounds, but still keep it the songwriting, and it's just the most important thing to me. Really, I don't think I could do anything else.